What's up everybody? My name is Puppeteer and today I have a little get to know me kind of video. Um, I'm going to show you kind of the music I listen to and a little background or a backstory to the music and how I found it and when I found it and all this jazz. Um, yeah, so, um, this is my background, by the way, um, I'm gonna, I actually went and did this in Photoshop last night, um, so here it is right here, alright, so hopefully you can see this picture, um, I did it, um, from top to bottom, I tried to make it very diverse in music, um, don't get me wrong, I do listen to a lot more than this and a lot like more in depth in the genres. So if you see like an album or if I talk about genre, I, um, I don't listen to just this or, you know, whatever. I'll kind of explain myself as I go along. But, um, we are going to start at the top. Um, I made this in Photoshop last night. I had fun listening to the music while I was doing this. But the top, we have Daft Punk. And this is the album Discovery. And funny enough, is I discovered them from this album, Discovery. I discovered them in 2009. 2008, 2009. But mainly 2000, like, eight ish I, um... I, my parents got me the game DJ Hero, and I thought it was a really fun game, and they were in it, and a lot of their music was in it, and at the same time I was on Last FM, and I, uh, when listen, I typed their name in one time, because I thought they looked cool in the game, heard one more time, and I was like, I've heard this before, and, uh, so yeah, just started listening to them, bought Discovery as my first album, and I've been in love ever since, and they are my favorite band of all time. You've actually probably seen, I actually have a Daft Punk poster hanging up um, to my right of my desk. But yeah, that's kind of how I found them. I loved every album ever since. Yeah. So next up we have um, Justice and this album is called Cross. Um, <laughs> this is kind of like their Discovery album kind of I would say. I would, um, every song on this album I've heard so many times. It's just so It's just so good. I'm sure if you've you've heard some of them also like dance, like D A N C E, one two three four five, stick to that B E A T. Get ready to ignite. But um, <laughs> that is one of the many songs on there. I just love Justice as a whole. Um, they have they just came out the new album. It's called Woman, and a lot of really good songs on there. Um, but yeah, I just love Justice as a whole, like I said, I really would, I would love to see Daft Punk and Justice, um, live at a concert, but Daft Punk doesn't really tour, Justice kind of does, but they go to like really weird places, or places that are not around me, so yeah, they do play at Coachella though, which I could go to that, but yeah, both of them are French, duo bands that make kind of electronic dance music you could say their music has changed over the years so it's it's kind of a beautiful thing and I love it so next up we have Dead Mouse um I know some people hate Dead Mouse the way because the way he acts I can kind of see that but 
overall, at the end of the day, he does make really good music. Um, I've like seen some of his live streams where he'll make songs, and he'll take like an hour or two making a song, and like you're like, this is really good, and he will just scrap it, and it's just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, this is the album four times four equals twelve. A really good album. I have a lot of good memories with this album. Uh, it was... <laughs> it was, um... I got FIFA, the game. That was my first FIFA. I think in 2000... It was around 2009, 2010. And this album came out around the same time. And my friend let me borrow it. Because he didn't really care for Dead Mouse. And I, f I fell in love with that album. It was, it's just so good. And he just has, I like the way he, um, the other albums after this one, they all, or especially this one too, but they all kind of just, all the songs kind of lead into each other, which is really awesome. And he comes and plays, uh, near me on, I think, New Year's, Lights All Night. He plays there, but like a ticket's like two hundred dollars, <laughs> and that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah. So I was kind of when I was doing this, I was kind of realizing I was just doing like kind of dance electronic bands, so I was trying to switch it up. Like I said, so I did. The next up was Michael Jackson, and. This isn't really the album that I listened to. This is like only the best picture. Slash. Um, I couldn't even find the album cover. Or a good decent one. So I chose the Thriller album. But. I uh, I still have it in my car right now actually. It's uh, Michael Jackson's. I think 25th anniversary greatest hits. And it's a gold CD. And it's literally. I mean, it's the greatest hit, so every song on there is just amazing. Um, I really love Michael Jackson. I always have when I was younger. Even growing up, it's it's still the greatest. Um, I know, you know, his history has progressed. It was a little janky, but... The music was still good. So yeah. Next up. And I, there's like nothing else to really say about Michael Jackson. It's Michael Jackson. That's all I gotta say. I will say that my favorite song is. Uh, um, the Girl is Mine. I like the way it's solo. And. I don't know. It's just so good. I catch myself singing to that a lot. Next up, we have Boys Noise, Oi Oi Oi. This album, um, I haven't really listened to the whole album. I have listened, to, I have heard of a lot of songs on this album, but um, this is around the time of GTA Four. Uh, he had and down. I'm sure you've heard of it. You can look it up. It's like one of his most popular songs was in GTA and it was like one of the best songs on there and that song is on this album and um funny enough is I actually didn't really care for Boys Noise so me and my friend we kind of started listening to this, uh you know this dance electronic music at the same time and um I went the Dead Mouse route and he went the Boys Noise route and I don't really care for boys noise and he didn't really care for dead mouse. But as I, you know, gotten older, I actually do I actually do like Dead Mouse or Boys Noise a lot. I love a lot of his songs. He actually came out with an album uh last year during the summer. And it's uh it's actually really good. A lot of his songs are really good. But um Yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up, we have 
Gorillas, Demon Days. Gorillas is always a band that I've loved ever since I was younger. Um, you know, Clint Eastwood. Um, just I'm trying to think of all these songs, and I'm thinking of a lot of songs on that new album. But um, I've always loved Gorillas, 2D, Russell, Murdoch, and Noodle. Uh, I always felt weird when I would see like their live videos and I wouldn't see them there and I'm like what the heck like why is this random dude singing <laughs> that sounds just like the main singer um but yeah I, I just always love Gorillaz it's like not really any bad song I know I think it's called The Fall it's not the album that just came out, but the album before that. Um, I know that was, I heard that was kind of cringy. Or it wasn't cringy, but it was just like, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a Gorillaz album, apparently. And, yeah. But I, I haven't heard of it. I'm just kind of, I was told to stay away from it, so that's what I'm doing. So next up, we have LMFAO. Uh, the Party Rock album. This is their first album. Um, where they got La La La, Yes, I'm in Miami. Um, try to think of some other ones. Scream, Scream My Name, uh, Shots. There's so many good songs. Um, it's funny enough, is I I actually was like a diehard fan of LFAO and I was super sad that when they broke up. Um I wore the zebra shorts, I wore the LFAO shirts at from Hot Topic and during Halloween I would wear a wig and I would dress up quote unquote dress up even though I already wore their clothes like them. And yeah, um my friend and I in ninth grade, was it ninth grade? No, it was like probably tenth grade, eleventh grade, somewhere around there. Um, we would um, go on these field trips together, and we would always sit next to each other. And he had um, party rock anthem on his iPod, and this was before it became popular. He had it on his iPod, and he played it for me. And I was like, I remember I was listening to it. That was pretty good. And then, like, on the way back, I was kind of, like, humming it. And I was like, hey, what was that song called? And he told me. And I was like, can you, like, play that song again? And we, like, listened to it so many times. And when we came back from that field trip, I uh, I bought the song on iTunes. And I watched the music video. fell in love with that. Their out, new album wasn't out yet at the time. So I bought their old album, which was this one. And then I fell in love with Yes. Uh, la La La, Scream My Name, there's so many songs, but Yes was my favorite one, I just love the way the beat is, and the the way they sing it, and stuff, but yeah, LFA was, was a huge impact on my life, <laughs> it kind of changed the way, I, like my favorite color, um, I like liked zebras because of them now, my bed sheets are zebras, or zebra print, but I say that, I say because I'm a pimp, you know, that's mainly the reason, but, <laughs> just kidding, um, but yeah, next up, we have Knife Party, um, I do like Knife Party a lot, this is, like, the album I found, it was, uh, Internet Friends was the song, and I don't know if that's the album name, but, because when I got Internet Friends, it was, like, a single only album at the time but yeah I played that song while I was playing Battlefield 3 a lot and I remember just listening to Knife Party a lot and kind of getting into that whole genre of music and yeah it's, it's really good music I highly suggest it um 
so next up we have Deltron 3030 I was trying to add a, like a rap album to this whole weird mess um Deltron 3030 it just has um oh, I'm blanking out right now it has Del the Funky Homo Sapien and a Dan the Automator I believe I hope I'm not missing that um but yeah, you probably heard of Dell the Funky Homo Sapien, mainly because he sings and some, or he raps in some gorilla songs, like uh, Clint Eastwood and Rock the House, which is a like only him in the gorilla song, which I love. But he has some songs like Thirty Thirty, Memory Loss, um, Virus Upgrade so many good songs and I love I love the way he raps because it's like it's like in, intelligence rap it's like he raps but like in a genius way and he says it's not talking about like women or um killing people or how much money he has it's about like the world and at the time like you know trying to fix things and it like takes place in this like kind of post-apocalyptic world, but this album came out I think in 1999 or 2000. I think it was 1999 because I think they were singing about 2000 or the you know the whole um, technology is gonna shut down thing. I forgot what that's called. That was so long ago. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Next up we have Skrillex. So I kind of branched off. You can see some of the branching off of music. Um, so if you're going to listen to Dead Mouse, you're going to eventually hear Skrillex. Or especially in the time zone where I was listening to that music, Skrillex was becoming popular. And he just released this album, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. I remember I had to make my friend buy it for me because I had the money but I wasn't old enough to buy the album I think I was 17 and you had to be 18 or something like that I think I was 16 I had to be 17 or something weird and yeah um Scary Monster Night Sprites is a good one um We Are Your Friends or is it is that what it's called I don't know, it's called The Long Drive. That's what it's called. Or Long Drive, something, Friends. And then Scada, um, Rock and Roll, Kill Everybody. So many good singles. So many OG songs, too. It's kind of weird. Um, next up, we have Empire of the Sun. Uh, I kind of found out about them like a year ago, two years ago now. Um, but... Their, this album, Walking on a Dream, came out a long time ago. And you pro I'm, you most likely heard it. I know you've either heard it in a car commercial or you've heard it somewhere. And this Walking on a Dream song became popular again. It was kind of, you know, big when it came out, but then it became popular here recently. That's probably why I heard it randomly. And I fell in love with the song. Um... I fell in love with them. They're two Australian guys that um they try to sing about positivity and just sing about happy things and the way it sounds is just so like awesome. It's kinda like electronic but like really soft core. But yeah, it's just really good. I love the way they sing. Um they just came out with an album in October uh twenty sixteen. Um, and my favorite song on there is High and Low, High or Low, High and Low, and High or Low, that's what it's called, but yeah, it's just, it's so good, I love them, and I can't wait for them to hopefully tour near me, and come out with more albums, yeah, so next up we have Metallica, the Blackened album, I try to add a rock um, like a rock album to this whole group so I have my pop I have my electronic or my main electronic I have my super pop my rap dubstep 
kind of indie and then my rock and uh yeah it's metallica what the heck i didn't like need i say more um i don't really listen to their new stuff i don't know it's just personal opinion i don't really care for it um they just actually came to where i live i think last friday some friends of mine went they said it was awesome bummer because i had to work but always appreciate metallica and always would rock out to metallica <laughs> so now we're at the bottom of the list um some are either ones i don't give love enough to or oldies but goodies so we have the eagles hotel california it's just i heard the song on guitar hero uh world tour i think in 2007 2008 I think it's 2007 and kind of didn't really care for it my friend's cousin loved the song he played it so much and as I've gotten older I've just kind of realized what he was saying and about the song and like if you actually listen to it and stuff and now it's just it's just so good I love the Eagles I love Hotel California so amazing I also love the Spanish version I think I think from there it's called the Gypsies that make that song or re did that song um for uh the Big Lebowski because I freaking love that movie but yeah next up we have Breakbot he kind of is like a Justice um esque band except it's one person and he, they're part of the Ed or the Ed Banger 7 group um, with Busy P um, who's not on here but yeah Breakbot he makes like really chill-esque justice music pretty much like it's more you can like put it on relax just have a good time has a good beat um, I'm sure you've heard some of his songs like uh, I'm trying to think of what that one's called. You're feeling strange like the weather. Love so hard to find. Change my state of mind. Yeah, yeah, you've heard of it. I know you have. But yeah, Breakbot. Really good. Um, Next up, we have a picture of two guys kissing. But uh, they are actually the same person. Um, I actually did a photo, a reenactment photo on Photoshop of this of me kissing myself um there's like a whole story behind it of uh people that fall in love with their own creations and they're so like self-obsessed with themselves and that's why like this whole kind of album photo uh is kind of trying to portray um but this artist is named sebastian 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 um, he's part of the whole Ed Banger 7 also he makes really good music it's kind of Justice-esque they all make kind of the same music but just a little bit different but it's really good um, he has the Sebastian um, album I forgot what this album's called I don't think it's self-entitled I don't think it's Sebastian album. I think it's something else. But, I don't know. He doesn't really... He has some more albums, but this is the album I go to all the time. And it's kind of old. But yeah. You should definitely check it out. Next up, I have Audio Slave. Chris Cornell is amazing. Um, Soundgarden's alright to me. I don't really care for the whole sound... Um, but Audio Slave, it's just the guitar is amazing. Tom Morello and that band is amazing. The drums is amazing. Chris Cornell, Chris Cornell is amazing. He has a freaking beautiful voice. Um, I've been kind of listening to it. Um, ever since he died, I've been listening to him a lot more. I listened to him when I was younger, like sixth or seventh grade. 
And uh, this is the album I listened to. And there's so many good songs on here. Um, like Show Me How to Live, um, Gasoline. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. I'm the Highway. There's so many good ones. And then next up, we have Getter, G-E-T-T-E-R. Um, if you haven't heard his music, I'm 99% sure you've heard of him or seen him. Um, you just don't know it. He is actually the guy that came up with the sodded, sodded, the saw dude, um, I guess meme slash vine. He is not the one in the red hoodie. He's the other one. Um, I think he's wearing a red beanie. But yeah, he is that one. He is actually a dubstep artist. Um, and I kind of found out found out about him like a year ago. Um, like I kind of when I found out about Saw Dude, I you know I was kind of digging into it and found out. That he made music and henceforth listened to it and found out he was coming to my show or my town and I went to that show and it was awesome. I got to actually meet some other dubstep artists. Um like uh Spock and of course Nick Coletti was there, which is the other Saw Dude guy. And um Sneak, which is his brother and uh Josh Pan and um I'm trying to think I think that was it. But yeah. I got a picture of Spock. He's like this long haired guy. Um that wears his cool glasses. And uh yeah, I loved this whole um Adol's music. He's actually making like kind of rap music also right now. Um he doesn't just make dubstep, which is pretty cool. I like I like people that, you know, can do many other things besides just one thing. So yeah. Next up we have Prince. Um nineteen ninety nine album. Um nineteen ninety nine is a really good song. Um When Doves Cry, Kiss, um Red Corvette. So many good songs. So, uh, I really Prince goes back in time when I was like when I listened to him. I go back in time um, to when I was a child, and my dad would take me to daycare, and he always he had the the Prince album, and we'd always listen to it. And I'd just sing and I would dance in the car when I was younger, and um, <laughs> when he was driving me to the daycare. There happened to be a donut shop right outside the daycare. And literally every day I got donuts. Like the little bag of donut holes and a chocolate sprinkled donut. Because that is the best. <laughs> and because I love breakfast and I love donuts. Hence why I'm the weight I am now. <laughs> but yeah. This uh, Prince kind of. Prince brings good memories uh, from when I was a child. And, uh, yeah. That is this little tree of music I listen to. This is like a real small snippet into my music library. And more detailed into my music library. There's a whole lot of little one-offs that I would say I listen to. Um, I thought this would be more fun instead of just me scrolling on my Google playlist of like 300 songs that I have thumbs up because they're kind of just random and yeah so I kind of made this more structured and you know more easier for you to see and get a feel for the music I listen to I highly recommend you checking out all these people um I'm sure you've heard most of them but I highly recommend to actually listen to them. Um, if you can, try to like kind of do your own of this and like kind of tweet it to me 
so I can see it. I would love to see what you guys like to listen to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to listen to music and edit this now. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for watching slash listening. Um, it means a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Alrighty. Good night, guys. Sweet dreams.